This sign represents our commitment to God and our commitment to this community that we're here for the long run and we're here for them. The timing was perfect. We had our dedication service and I referenced uh, 1 Samuel 7, where the prophet Samuel says, this is our Ebenezer. You know, they made the pile of stones that we're trusting in God. We're God's people and we're here for God. And that's what I said this sign represented. This process for the sign started about two years ago. We realized that um, our biggest um, communication with the community is your sign. And I've gone to these seminars and workshops on how to grow your church and all this. And what they keep coming up with is 80% of your advertising is your sign. If it's not current, if it's not up to date, the community thinks you're doing nothing. So we had had this um, old sign out there, you know, the big ones like this, that you'd go out and put the letters in. It looked like a used car lot. And it would be out there and you'd put the letters in and then the letters would blow away. So the pastor would be out there in all sorts of weather, rain, sleet or snow, picking up these letters from all over the field. So in, in noticing that I would have to do that all the time, I probably wasn't as current with it. And there's nothing worse than looking at a sign and it's got the dinner that happened three weeks ago. So we realized that we had to get something better and more up to date. And it would show you know, that we're trusting uh, in the Lord to help us um, do this. So we made some contacts and uh, we investigated on the web and uh, we narrowed it down to Stuart Signs. We had a council meeting. I had brochures of each uh, sign company's uh, products. We looked at it. We liked Stewart's. Uh, what caught our eye was their warranty. They had a great guarantee that we liked. The other one never mentioned the service end of it. And so we felt very comfortable ordering Stewart signs because we knew they would back it up if, heaven forbid, we had any problems. People were all on board for the sign when they realized that the capabilities that it would grant us with, with current lettering, different styles, different colors, the video images that you could put up there, the seasonal images, and this we can get for free off the um, website that Stuart Signs gives us. And I can do all this from the comfort of my desk on my laptop. I do no longer have to trudge out in the snow, the sleet, and the rain to change and chase those letters. I can put that up, you know, right from the comfort of my desk. Even if something happens with my uh, wireless connection where I can't send them um, the information I need, I can just walk out there and plug in that USB file that we have. And I can change it any way I want. So to me, it was really a, a no-brainer. And there was really no opposition to getting a sign, not even price-wise, once they realized how in the long run it's going to benefit us and the community around us especially the younger adults who, this is their world now. Smartphones, computers, iPads, iPods, that's their world. You know, and so they're not gonna look for that little poster sign that we wrote with the magic marker. They wanna see that, oh look, that church is current, that church is staying up with things, and uh, I think that is helping to bridge uh, the gap between us and the community. The company down in Florida was really good. I mean, every time I needed something, boom, he would email, email, email me the, uh, what I needed. And the process is really not that hard. The company is easy to work with. We were all new and there were folks in our, in our group who knew nothing about this. And so uh, it was really comfortable to speak to the folks down there. If another church came to us, I would be absolutely, I would tell them emphatically, you need to get this sign. Radio, it's, it's okay. Mailings, they don't work. It's your sign that people are paying.